Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Explorer. How to solve this interesting exponential math problem? That is 3 raised to power k times 3 raised to power k times 3 raised to power k is equal to 36. So here we will try to find out the value of this unknown k. Now how can we solve this problem? Here looking to the left hand side, here this base is same. So since the base is same, so we will add the power. So this left hand side will become implies we will write the base one time three one time and we will add the power k three times so this will become k plus k plus k is equal to 36 so further this will become 3 raised to power 3k is equal to 36 now since this 3 and this 36 are divisible by 3 so here we will divide both sides by 3 so let us divide both sides by 3 so here on the right hand side we will simplify these two numbers 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 12 is 36 so this will become here the power of this 3 is 1 so here in this side we will use an exponential identity rs to power m divided by rs to power n identity so here we will use this one identity in the left hand side rs to power n divided by rs to power n it can also be written as rs to power m minus n so using this exponential identity this left hand side will become implies here we will write the base one time and we will subtract the power so this will become 3k minus 1 is equal to and here in the right hand side it is 12 by 1 which is equal to 12 now again this 3 and this 12 are divisible by 3 so again we will divide both sides by 3 so let us divide both sides by 3 again so here 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 4 is 12 and again in the left hand side we will use this one identity and we move this number to the numerator so this will become this implies we will write the base one time and we will subtract the power so this will become 3 raised to power 3k minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 4 so further this power will become implies 3 raised to power 3k this will become minus 2 is equal to 4 now what we will do here when we have an equation in this form having a variable in the power so to find out that power we will take common log on both sides so here we will take common log on both sides so let us take common log on both sides so this become log of 3 raised to power 3k minus 2 is equal to log of 4 now here in the left hand side we will use a logarithm identity log of r s to power n so here in left hand side we will use this one identity log of r s to power n which can also be written as n times log of a so using this logarithm identity here this left hand side will become here we will move this power 3k minus 2 to the front of log of 3 so this left hand side will become 3k minus 2 times log of 3 is equal to log of 4. Now since we have to find out the value of k, so here we will try to eliminate this number from the left hand side. Now to eliminate this number from the left hand side, we will divide both sides by this number log of 3. So let us divide both sides by log of 3. So this equation will become here in the left hand side this log of 3 and this log of 3 will be cancelled so only 3k minus 2 will be left and here on the right hand side we will use change of this logarithm identity log of a divided by log of b so here in the right hand side we will use this one identity we can write log of a divided by log of b in short form and simplified form as log of a with this b so using this change of base logarithm identity here this right hand side will become 3k minus 2 is equal to and this right hand side will become log of the numerator 4 with base 3 here we will move this 2 to the right hand side so it will become positive 2 and this equation will become 3k is equal to this will become 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 
We will divide both sides by 3 to eliminate this number 3 from the left hand side. So let us divide both sides by 3. So here this 3 and this 3 will be cancelled in the left hand side. So only k will be left. So the value of k will become k is equal to 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 divided by 3. So finally k is equal to 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 divided by 3 is our answer and value of k. Now here we will try to verify this value of k that as this value of k is the exact and correct value of k in this nice and interesting exponential math problem or not. So we will verify this value here. So let's verify this value of k. Now to verify this value of k here we will rewrite the problem again. Now our problem is 3 raised to power k times 3 raised to power k times 3 raised to power k is equal to 36. Now here first we simplify this left hand side and then we will substitute the value of k. So here in the left hand side the base is same so we will add the power. So here k is 3 times. So this left hand side will become 3 raised to power adding k 3 times this will become 3k is equal to 36. Now here we will substitute the value of k which is this one. So this will become implies 3 raised to power 3 times the value of k is 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 divided by 3 is equal to 36. Now here these two numbers will cancel each other so this will become 3 raised to power this one number. So this step hand side will become 3 raised to power 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 is equal to 36. Now here in the left hand side we will use an exponential identity r s to power m plus n which is equal to r s to power m times r s to power n. So using this exponential identity this left hand side will become this will become 3 s to power 2 times 3 s to power this number log of 4 with base 3 is equal to 36. Here inside this number we will use a logarithm result. So here in, inside this number we will use this one logarithm result. We can write rs to power log of b with base a is equal to b. So using this result here we will replace this whole number with this one number only 4. So this will become 4 and this left hand side and this equation will become here the value of 3 square is simply 9, 3 times 3 is 9 and this will become 4 is equal to 36. What is 9 times 4? 9 times 4 is simply 36. So 36 is equal to 36. And since both sides are equal, so it means that k is equal to 2 plus log of 4 with base 3 divided by 3 is the exact and correct value of k in this nice and interesting exponential math problem.